Many of the Confederates or white supremacist communists engaged in the radical insurrection functions haven't considered the activity of the difference between them and a competent member of society, whereas they need degrowth in order to stabilize the function of their superiority with monopolies by the function of the plans. Uh, I believe it was from the central plan the Central Bank of the United States, which would then facilitate the function of bursts and uh, raises, bubbles and bursts, which would then facilitate the acts of traumas with economic hitmen, which would then materialize the function of crippling targets under their communist radical activities in order to centrally plan the economy, manufacturing it by the coupling of violence, similar to the activities of the Nazis who needed to engage in the use of violence in order to subvert themselves lest they be subjugated to those with the more vigorous activities in the economy and thus subjugate them into the more brutal vil, and thus the action of engaging of terrorism and hate crimes as a function of economic influence becomes a natural aspect of this manipulation, including the function of fraudulent terrorism and secrecy and covert activities, such as their worship of Loth. And to this extent, you actively have the manipulations engaged in these functions, which do not have the activity of prosperity, but of consumption and collapse. And to that end, the act of the United States federal debt acquiring one trillion of new debt every hundred days, I believe, is something that they are incapable of settling, which would immediately trigger the function of wars, starting off with those who owe the most to the United States, which is no longer in control as the Confederacy is, and thus the action of the disillusionment of selling the United States uh, through acts of treason to its adversaries in a series of betrayals, materializes the function of the purges of those who would not be considered a part of the right type of white. This includes the function of their planned wars with the Chinese and many of the others who, engaging in these functions, have the ideal that they're going to be settled on these activities and would, in fact, have to have been settled through other mechanisms of value, such as the rights to conquest, which then materializes the function of the betrayal by the Confederates, who will not engage in the national security operations once they've captured each of the various departments, materializing the withholding of the military support leaving the civilians to be conquered by professional militaries. And this includes the function of the active retaliations against the others who, having cooperated with the function, are then betrayed by those systems, materializing the activity of actively destroying them. And many of the white supremacists have always greedily looked at the Canadians in order to engage in the function of various forms of prosperity and to this end you actively seek the separate classes from the centrally planned economy which by definition has the material benefit of a professional engagement and existence with them uh, but such as the super involvement of education or big tech or such, and thus the action of their involvement into the occult rituals and the betrayal of their own security systems actively engages in the function of removing of their own security so that when the betrayal happens and they're destroyed, their precedents, which they have approved of, will be leveraged against them, including those who have historically been abused by those parties, would have actively been encouraged to approve of the very same type of crimes, like the Jews and the Holocaust, would actively have been encouraged to support Holocaust-type abuses, such as the use of secrets in order to engage in starvations, abuses, forced labors, and murders, 
of various kinds, and thus the action of those crimes being accepted as a status quo norm then can be leveraged against them, and they would not have the argument that it is evil, vile, and should be prevented, as they would have already approved of those very same extortions in order to have gained notoriety and advancement inside of the system that would turn on them and consume their substance. And thus the delectable treats of the white supremacist insurrectionists is the cultus which would have been promoting them off of this engagement, such as from the Protocols of Lernels of Zion, who, having promoted the position of the subversion of corruption by buying off politicians and actors and the rich and famous and so on, in order to engage in their various advantages for these extortions, which then materializes their vulnerability, which then allows them to be turned on and brutally exterminated. And thus the action, having proved itself on maturity, that the hatred for their stupidity to have cooperated with the communist revolution at all, being more of a value being held against them than any other thing that they would have held against others, including but not limited to their riches or their fame, which then would be exhausted, stolen, and all of the other abuses that they gave permission to. So long as they gave permission to it, then the devil religion qualifies the right to do it to them, as they, having taken a deal with the devil, receive the benefits of the various trinkets from the devils, in order to allow for these precedents, which then can be leveraged against them by their malicious, hateful adversaries, who will do so, and have been setting them up by the terror factory to entrap them into this, that they might gorge upon their former existence, and satisfy themselves with the delectable treat of the fall and suffering derived by this function, and thus the belief fundamentally being based on the fact that devils would, in some points of view, sustain themselves off of the suffering or the collapse or the level of falling of statuses and other values would bring them material uh, satisfaction as an alternative food source or diet allows them to engage themselves in this gluttonous behavior from these fattened pigs. And while David's system would have actively been built upon various trifectas for financial advancements and other particular stabilizers such as the zombie insurance, would have maintained the alternative escape mechanism this becomes the primary incentive in order to collapse the aristocracy, which those who are convinced to turn on it need in order to save them from these various injuries, are the very ones who were actively responsible for it. And those that had the most to lose were the most careless about it, and their suffering falling upon their own heads is exclusively their own fault to make, which makes the sauced meal that much more delectable. From the conversion of the lawful good into chaotic evil, so too also is the just desserts of that cream sweetness that is precedent and its irony. And to that extent, David being the only actual way for the United States to have escaped these injuries, would actively be betrayed by those systems covered up by various fraudulent excuses such as the secrecy functions, which then actively betray itself and turn on itself at the service of corruption, which, by definition, is the weakness of all functional governments, which then leveraged against it allows it to be captured by those
petting to the various egos, taking deals with the devils, who then extort it in the various ways, including but not limited to those who sold their souls to the devils non-ironically through the looking grass program, where they would have materialized a version of the phantom devils, which then allows them to engage in the ritual practices with their fantasy biased version of devils in order to acquire the diminishing returns from those promises which then makes them in reality their property as they destroy it for material goods real and imagined sacrificing all of the other masses which by definition comply eagerly for their own destruction by their refusal to make their obligatory compliances with the necessary force in order to live or become too stupid to exist and the act of becoming too stupid to exist is the withdrawing from all sanity in its various forms into the demoralized position as they engage in the function of the communist propaganda which then actively breaks apart all forms of reality and sustains itself into its delusional messes at which point they become a victim or a slave to their own mischievous devices and addictions and then become cruelly entwined into these positions as they collapse systematically into those pits which they hold their friends and the neighbors into as well for friendship and for fellowship and all of the other fake excuses that everyone has ever made in their own self-delusion engaging in the function of their criminal insanity becoming a threat to themselves and others are no longer a safe member of society but are actively a subversive to that society engaging in the hate crimes and assistance for the hate crimes for the terrorism to engage in the operation and traumas of the general public into its ascetic demise into the oozed state as all collapse into the socialist mess for the muck and the sewage to devour them and the hyperinflation in the mass debt engages in the function of the complete eradication of the market and the function of every aspect of the economy, including the tax ratios, including the function of wages, which would not reflect the function of the inflation in an adequate degree, engaging in the complete eradication and flattening of society for the destruction of human decency, as they sell for the diminishing returns every form of stabilizing human decency and engage in themselves becoming fully naked and prudish. To this extent, the function engages in their delusional superiority as they eradicate every form of wealth that had ever had the audacity to connect to them. As they are taken and redistributed to the various departments, which then deposits them into the respective function, including the activity of that act of war, which then would have to extort them in order to fight all of the countries of the world and engaging in every war with every nation of the world materializes the permanent state of their misery in their socialist hellscape, which is entirely self-inflicted and their own fucking fault. And being their own ducking fault, they would actively engage in the retaliations and contempts and plotting against those that had helped them in the past, that they might, as an addict, actively steal and scrape every last little piece of value that could ever be derived, as is commonly understood by the heroin junkies and others, who, having been completely devoted to their addictions, become an exponential burden to themselves and to everyone who had ever had the audacity to love them, or in the very least, tolerate their existence.
which is increasingly necessary for them to have been able to have developed and perfect that system for in order to assert who belongs in the front lines and in the various torment departments as the psychotic and the addict become an active aspect of their investment into their military operations in order to engage in the function of the distribution of the market of death which having at its core the function of its exclusive pleasures and misery materialize that activity for the torments of the innocent that they might take all of that angst and anxiety and addiction and afflict others with it and thus the action of the extortion out of their own body creates the hyperaction derived by its material energies which is then executed onto their various victims who suffer from their abusers delusions and inferiorities as what makes them weak in the general society is what makes them useful to those that put them in this deluded decapitated crippled state which having completely broken the aspect of their sane aspect of society and their ability to engage in it has turned them into this distorted dystopian monster for the exclusive purpose of their psychopathy as it is itself the only functional reason that they have a use or are paid or taken care of in that society which then transforms them under the satanic rituals step by step into the devil religion as to become the karmic trash can of karma and thus the action of this deposit of all sins and vices and malice and subversions and subterfuge and frauds and evils of every kind becomes their only functional use and craft as they become on this world the devils and demons of the next hoping for the activities of the extension of their miserable begotten lives as they hope for the ability promised in revelation that they might stretch out their lives with the eternal life of the vampiric undead by the mark of the beast which then prevents them from being able to die and that extension endorses themselves into these higher luxuries as they hyper accelerate inside society becoming its most wealthy function and everything that the communists complain about the capitalists becomes an exaggerated realistic thing inside of that psychopathy and inside of this sinister society for satan as the environment is exponentially extorted and they turned into monopolies or the function of destroying of all diversity of life until it is exclusively the right type of white and thus the action of the communist purges and revolutionary activities engages in the function of these very psychopathy leading cults materializes the function of the civil war in order to promote themselves as loyal to the communist party at which point the revolution in china becomes recreated as a perfected event specifically crafted by their social engineers for all of its luxurious pain that they might feast and pleasure on your torment now understanding all of that in its entirety putting it together materializes the interest of the hyperinvestment into the various scientific expansions of control over the nervous system and brain and thus the action of compelled speech such as the function of nerve hacking materializes the action of these compelled actions which then override the body such as from Brett Weinstein's studies as a university professor in Washington, I think it was Evergreen or something, but in 
those expansions, they actively have the promotion of the control over the neck nerves, which then have the translation of the entire body's systems, which then get hacked by the wireless engagements, which have, as a nerve hack, the nerve overrides and triggers the muscles, which then compels the automated action outside of the brain signals, which are overridden by the outside portable wireless signals, which being generated by a variation of technologies, secret and public, are variations of microwaves, which then translate into electricity when set to the right tune, facilitating the function of its translation into electricity, overriding the nerve system, which then facilitates the automated actions, including the function of the microwaves engaging in the act of communicating uh, through uh, the voice-to-skull technologies, which then basically uh, military operations have actively proven that if you get a particular signal, it's a public uh, technology, but if you have vibrations right next to your uh, ear bone, then even if you have tendonitis, you're still able to hear the thing, at which point all they have to do is mimic that signal which they're able to do wirelessly, which then facilitates the secret telephone, which allows them to communicate to the party while they're actively overriding the controls of the person, which then facilitates the position of their exponential expansion, seeking the tapping into and eradicating the personal consciousness, which allows them to switch out uh, consciousness between persons, by muting the target's consciousness and sending in the alternative consciousness from basically uh, the system for when they're doing uh, 4D like an avatar. You have a suit and it's got a bunch of signals and like there's dots and buttons on the person and it actively recreates the person's Momentums. This is actively used to translate the function as a public version of the thing, which then communicates the control over the thing as the person's consciousness is switched out to the other person, which is where they get the gender dysphoria and other uh, body problems as the person's consciousness is literally somewhere else uh, imported from a different body into the party, which then facilitates the action of their automated, uh, personalization processes as they create their own custom answer for the control over that body, which is then victimized by the human trafficking from the nerve hacking arrangement, which then actively engages in the various traumas and Manchurian candidate actions, which is then proven by the various actions of things that the person would otherwise not do, which can't really ignore it because they're being overpowered by the restraints, which is, in their minds, the metaphorical version of the uh, Norse mythology on uh, the large wolf from Loki's children, among Loki's children, who was bound by... Uh, secret dwarven rope which then was able to bind what extreme iron fetters were incapable of holding or binding and thus this action materializes the function of that control and to that extent you actively have that overpowering mechanism which then facilitates their human trafficking operations which then allows them to hack into the children, which creates the gender dysphoria, which then creates the assumption that they're homosexual or transsexual or any of the other things. And as the Confederates are culturally transsexual, they have the inherent fundamental belief that they have a right to control other people's sexuality because 
as a transsexual, this is one of their cult advantages. And to that extent, they're able to compel or imbue their personality quirks onto others and thus engage in that function, which requires nothing more than for the person to be themselves that thing. And the action of their reproduction of it and their alliance with others who are that thing facilitates the fact that they, as a group of transsexuals, are all in accord and alliance with each other in the traumatization of the general public, which is then protected by fake experiments and fake secrets, which then engages in the subversion and crimes against the general public in perpetuity, which threatens it in its full diversity and quality, which then, at its point of reference, expresses the traumatization of the general public with the mental and social defects, including the arbitrary interests of the fake plays which they write in order to entertain themselves in their delusional defective states and thus the fact that the fake conservatives from the confederacy were able to traumatize the fake leftists from that engaging in their loyalty to the confederacy for communism materializes the diversified aspect of the insurgency of identity politics from the Confederacy, which then, having been hyper-traumatized and engaged in psychopathy from those abuses, the left then expresses having been abused with the same powers, which then filters the function by a series of steps under that materialized, crafted, socially engineered hate crime uh, in order to facilitate the processing of various biases, in order to get the fake excuses to whatever they're looking for, which requires this filter of each series of steps until they find people that specifically prove under their pseudoscience scams in order to pretend some form of legitimacy in their radicalization process and in the action of the development of those radicals materializes the function of their violent militias traumatizing the general public with this function which then can be sacrificed at a later date each series of steps of this system materializes the function of those sacrifice units such as with the techies being able to sacrifice the people that would have been fundamental workers in that system who view themselves as superior for being a part of the tech market, which then materializes the function of them no longer being wanted, at which point they are then sacrificed and disposed of, similar to the function as with the education system, where it hyper-invests into the system of the Soviet interests, which then hyper-invests into that system and then disposes of the excess where it becomes their problem to solve because of their financial debts and low pays from the material thing in order to have sacrificed themselves for the quote-unquote greater good of their department or scientific interests or whatever the cult thing is, then materializes the function of the exponential quantity of destroyed lives by having cooperated with their own suicide which point these secret uh, markets become disposable as their use has matured and normalized into the larger structure of the Rocas Basculus, having constructed the machine of their own demise, and thus the mechanism of defrauding them through the various mechanisms, such as the proof of the permanence and the viability that their cult will give them the exception entry into the function, similar to the action of the loans in the housing market, which then, having been promoted before the crash of 08 as a permanent rise market, cannot, under normal social behavior, be considered as anything except for the best potential investment of their time and resources, at which point the function of them discovered the scam is altogether a surprise as it eradicates the entirety of their balance and they become entirely useless and are consumed by that arrangement 
according to their own delusion, they have sacrificed themselves, and to the extent of that having been accomplished, they are then devoured and progressed according to the interest of that department, which then, having disposed of them, discard the white trash as having always been expendable, which is the most viable definition of white trash as the function of being expendable to the white supremacist is the definition of trash and thus the action of it qualifying it as white trash does not require the party to be white in any particular way instead of just being a poor white there can be the expendable trash of the whites including the poor whites who not necessarily having any legitimate positive value would materialize the negative aspects of being a poor white in their negatively restraints against the function of the spending of resources that are owed to other parties opting out rather in order to engage in fraud scam malice and violence in order to excuse extraordinary violence including wars in order to nullify their perceived debts to their perceived enemies and being an enemy of war there would be a fake justification to no longer honor the sociabilities of a neutral or allied state which would have exchanged in the series of goods and markets which includes the functions of debts which by definition can be paid in times of pleasure and prosperity as opposed to the function of their lack of prosperity which then is materialized into the action of that conflict materializing the full investment of that liability as its own good until they've consumed it for this entire purpose at which point they can be properly sacrificed